All right, so my apologies to not getting to this sooner, but here's my reaction and recap to last night's episode of The Challenge. So prior to this episode, last week we saw Amber M, Gabby versus Amber B. There was a lot of mean girl type of stuff going on. There was trivia, Darrell and Amber B won. It was a Teresa versus Casey elimination. Casey wins, Teresa goes home, Casey decides to stay with Leroy. And Corey gets paired with Amber M. Kyle is definitely right, TJ loves to watch him suffer. We see a talk between Devin and CT, and Devin really wants to throw CT a bone. We see that they're working together, that he likes CT and he likes Nam. They spoke about the strongest teams in the house right now, Casey, Leroy, Cam, and Kyle. So it's very obvious Fessy and Gabby have the hots for each other. We've been seeing it since the beginning, but we hadn't really seen them act upon it, but this time they kissed and yeah. Fessy definitely has a type. He does love his blondes. Gabby said when it comes down to getting her skull, that she would decide to leave her partner Devin for Fessy. So we see some more drama and incompatibility from Nam and Lolo. They certainly can't see eye to eye, they can't communicate, and we just keep seeing it get worse and worse. In this talk in the beginning of the episode, they decide to still stay together, but they're both very stubborn, you know, and it's obviously not going well. So Amber B is upset that she didn't go in last week, that she feels she made a mistake, they had won that challenge and that was her chance to go in and get her skull, but she didn't do it. Big T was trying to cheer her up and Gabby was just very much annoyed with all of this and Amber B's personality. So for the competition, the challenge this week, it's Mission Black Sand Ops. It's a basically a puzzle challenge with opportunity to sabotage other players or help them out. So basically it's a numbers game. If you have more numbers, the easier it will be. And if you're kind of an outlier, you don't really have the numbers, it could be harder. This is a challenge where we first see Corey and Amber M work together since they're new partners. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how they do. Amber M is all fired up, ready to get her skull. Yeah, it was so awkward. Nam and Lola were like, okay, this will determine if we wanna, you know, pursue a relationship. I don't foresee a relationship working with them if they're not able to get it together for this, which thus far they haven't really been able to communicate and see eye to eye, so I would say they're not compatible. Big Brother had a huge advantage because of the numbers. They definitely had the numbers going into it and they were helping each other out. I love Darrell's commentary, he's so funny, and he's saying that they were just digging and digging, he doesn't know if they were dumb or if they weren't digging deep enough, but they weren't finding anything. Also funny, everybody finding Devin and Gabby's pieces and hiding them. Surprisingly, Devin and Gabby were doing very well for, you know, not really getting any help. Josh and Nani had the lead. They had all their pieces. As I said, Big Brother was helping each other out. So they were the first ones to start the puzzle, but they quickly lost the lead. Nani was trying to do it without getting closer and Josh couldn't see, so didn't work out for them. But yeah, then most of the teams got their pieces. Amber, M, and Corey, CT, Big T, Gabby, and Devin. Nam hurt his lower back. They were struggling to get their pieces. I guess from the digging, he might have pulled something. I really like Devin and Gabby's approach to this. They split the memorization in half. So one of them did the upper half and the other one did the lower half. It reminds me of like the way they do it in the finals where everybody has to memorize something and then come together to put it together. CT and Big T were killing it. I was like, oh my gosh, are they gonna win this? And then, you know, something was wrong. They asked to check it and TJ said something was wrong. So yeah, Devin and Gabby snuck in there and won, which is totally fine for CT and Big T. Gabby wants Josh and Nani to go in. She wants to go in and get her skull. Meanwhile, Amber M wants to go in. Devin, when he wins, definitely lets the power go to his head. He had the whole Big Brother sucks VIP lounge sign up. Doesn't really seem like people are paying attention to it, which is the best approach when he's on his power trip. But as a viewer, it's definitely funny. So the whole struggle of Gabby wanting to go in, but Devin not wanting to risk it since he already has his skull. And he is so hell bent on revenge. And I just don't think it was the best for his game to be so focused on Josh. He is so consumed by wanting to get Josh back. And I think he needs to remember that once somebody takes Josh's skull, they're gonna come after his skull. So it's best to leave Josh in the game 
So other people will want to go against him for this goal rather than wanting to go against, you know, him, Devin. So that's just my logic. And his tactics to convince Gabby didn't really seem like they were working at this point. I probably would have, you know, focused on the whole Amber M wanting to go in. It's like, do you really want to go against your friend? Nani really wants to go against Amber M. Amber M wants to go against Nani. Nam says to throw him and Lolo in because they want to get new partners. Even though it's not really, you know, how it works. They're like, everybody's already kind of made up their mind. And they're like, okay, we, we want to go in because we want to change partners. It's like, nobody's going to do you that favor was dying at Darrell saying that Corey fed Amber M something to get her all pumped up and want to go in to get her skull just so he could get a new partner. So everybody wants to go in this week. I guess everybody's getting desperate to get that skull because they're scared of, you know, running out of time. CT wants to go in, Nam, Lolo, Amber M, Gabby, Nani. Lolo and Nam were sharing their issues about wanting a new partner and it's just too little too late. Everyone had already made up their mind. Plus, it's beneficial to keep them as partners so they don't do as well. I knew Devin wasn't gonna get what he wanted by a Josh and Nani vote. Josh and Nani have the numbers. They have the whole Big Brother Alliance behind them. It seemed it was practically a landslide for Amber M and Corey to go in. Then Devin was kind of scrambling and just like, you know, screw it, let's just have fun. Let's throw in Cam or Leroy, you know? The elimination was hall brawl with a type of twist. And when they saw the competition, they were like, this is obviously going to be a girl's elimination. Devin kept nodding at Gabby and I was like, what does that mean? Does that mean go in or don't go in? Knowing Devin, I had a feeling it was probably like, don't go in because he doesn't want to risk it just in case he has to go against someone. When Devin and Gabby decide not to go in, TJ is asking Gabby like, why don't you want to go in? Like, don't you want your skull? Like you and Amber M, that seems like a good matchup. You're both rookies, like, come on. I was wondering before then why, you know, Gabby hadn't mentioned going against her friend before, but then she mentioned it at that moment. So yeah, ultimately Gabby and Devin throw in Amber B and Darrell and they were blindsided. But I mean, Amber B was complaining about not going in last week and here's her opportunity and she gets Amber M instead of Teresa. That's a pretty good deal. Gabby's practically, you know, throwing Amber B a bone. She's delivering a skull on a silver platter. But of course she doesn't see it like that because she's blindsided and wasn't ready to go in. Nani and Josh were pissed, they wanted to go in and Josh was mouthing off, as to be expected. So yeah, it was a women's elimination, Amber versus Amber. I don't know why Nam's just corny like commentary on, I'm rooting for Amber, made me laugh. <laughs> so yeah, it was the most entertaining elimination. Amber B just blew it out of the water. She's faster, stronger, taller, plays rugby. Amber M, you know, she didn't really stand much of a chance. Corey's like, bye Amber, time for my new partner. <laughs> Corey's really bad luck, you know, everybody that's his partner just goes home. I wonder who he will get next. So TJ asks Amber B if she wants to switch partners and Amber B does not let him finish. She says she wants to stay with Darrell. They're both doing this for their families and she wants to continue being his partner. Yeah, Corey's rogue, waiting for his sixth partner. Pretty impressive he stayed this long and just, you know, gone rogue to stay in the game. So for the next episode, we see a security breach tease, more Lolo and Nam drama, CT wanting his skull, and I, I think it was an aerial takeover challenge. So yeah, a lot of things to look forward to. I'm excited for next episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more challenge content, and don't forget to like and share your thoughts in the comment section.